today's video is for anybody that has social media and uses it to push forward the truth of the Most High Yah. I don't want you to get discouraged by the trolls because I want you to realize that they actually get the message. It's just the message offends them. Let's talk about it. people that are still in the world and they're inspired by seeing people live uh, the homestead and lifestead and a lot of times people ask man where did you where did you learn this from or why why are you motivated to live this way and that is a a, a segue for the truth of the most high y'all for them to uh, experience that but for this channel closer to y'all ministries you know that's why I say, man, at the end of my videos, I'm kicking it gun barrel straight. Man, when you think about the barrel of a gun, that bullet is only gonna take one route. It only has one route. It's not gonna go around your feelings. It's not gonna do this. And it is to penetrate flesh. You gotta think about a barrel and why I say gun barrel straight, kicking it. Man, a bullet, a round pierces flesh. The word of the Most High Yah truly exposes the intentions of, of, of someone's heart. So on here, I don't sugarcoat anything. And I'll tell you, man, if you're somebody that posts truth, you know, on your social media or whatever platform you use, and you are constantly uh, attacked by trolls, let's get this right. They didn't click on, you didn't click on to them. They clicked on to tune into you. And this is where I say, man, anytime somebody trolls this channel, man, I'm getting better and better at simply hitting the like button on your comment and hitting the heart button and going on about my day because I got stuff to do. Solely because it's not that the trolls don't hear the message, it's the truth in the message that offends them and they attack the messenger. A troll loves nothing more for you to go back and forth with them so they can try to get you to say something unrighteous, do something unrighteous. And that's why I tell you, man, when these heathens, these lawless heathens, when I say heathens, I'm talking about lawless heathens, these lawless Gentiles, and I don't care if you're, you're, you're Christian or Catholic, like if you're in, in replacement theology, you are a lawless, uh, heathen-minded, uh, you've been told that you are a Gentile and may not be. When these folks get on here uh, and troll the comments, man, I simply hit the like button, hit the heart button, and go on about my day. You'd be surprised, man. You know, anytime I post uh, anything about women and the Most High Yah's will for women, you get these damn women from uh, the Baptist church on your corner uh, trying to give you their feelings and they're not acknowledging nothing scripture based. They're not acknowledging none of that. They're just giving you their feelings and opinions. And I'm telling you, it, it's a waste of time for you to entertain trolls. Anytime I talk about uh, effeminate men, soft men, soft, supple, good for nothing, uh, no grit having, no intestinal fortitude men, you know, and I'm coming from the stance of the, the patriarchs of the book being warriors, you always get these effeminate men in the comments, you know, telling you how they feel. Hit the like button, heart they comment, go on about my day. I don't have time for it. 
to be sitting up uh, writing long responses to doggone lawless people that don't want to fulfill the will of the Most High Yah. And that's something that Messiah did. Messiah didn't spend too much time uh, going back and forth with people that did not want the truth. He would, he would go back and forth uh, in order to let the Pharisees know that they did not have the truth, but he didn't stick around trying to convince them. Why? It would have done no good. Their hearts was already set. And oftentimes when the word says that the disciples, the taught ones, the Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach was going into these uh, synagogues and these temples, people were often offended. The same way people will troll your dog on social media and be offended when you give the truth. You know, uh, you talk about anything according to righteousness of men and women and people are automatically offended. Why? They flat out don't want to live it. People that claim to be following Messiah, claim to be a member at a Christian or Catholic church, they're the ones dog on trolling you. Just the same way there was a lot of religious people in the book that did not have the truth. Their religion was vain. It was worthless. I'll tell you, if you are saying anything truthful surrounding righteousness and the truth of the Most High Yah, just know the persecution is going to come. Just know it's going to come. And when it comes, you know, social media persecution is from a distance. All you got to do, like button, heart it, go on about your day and keep coming with that truth because what you don't get to see is these trolls, you don't never get to realize or see or experience if they get deliverance. It may be a, a man or a woman that gets offended by one of your messages that you're really giving in love and in truth and they might remember that for 10 years and then 10 years later down the road, they experience deliverance. But these trolls are not gonna come back and say, I'm so sorry for, for trolling your page and uh, tagging up your page and do it. They ain't gonna never do that. Don't think that they didn't get the message. Oh, they got the message. It's just the message offended them. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.